Hi there, my name's AP, and I'm a better Star Wars fan than you. I know this because I watched my first Star Wars movies on VHS, videotape. So I already know that I'm better than most of you out there because I watched it on, on VHS instead of DVD. All you younglings out there. But that's why I can help you. Do you want to be a better Star Wars fan? Do you want the respect as a Star Wars fan that you probably don't deserve? Was that a yes? Well jump on board and let me teach you the ways of becoming a better Star Wars fan in five simple steps. George Lucas created a masterpiece in 1977. But in doing so, he created a fan base full of self-entitled nerds who think that Star Wars is owned by the fans. But remember, you're one of those self-entitled losers. Just like me. So always start a conversation with a fellow Star Wars fan like this. Hi there. I hate Disney. Many fans didn't enjoy the prequels. From bad CGI effects to even worse plot lines. They were pretty terrible. But the third instalment, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, brought us a piece of storytelling gold. Anakin Skywalker killing a bunch of Jedi children. If you're ever around a bunch of Star Wars fans, you should always remind them that this is your most favourite moment of the prequel movies. The part where a bunch of children get killed by a grown man in a family-friendly franchise. Trust me, you'll leave them speechless. The old days of being a Star Wars fan were much simpler. You'd declare your hate for Jar Jar Binks and the prequels in general, but now if you want to get ahead of the game and become the ultimate galaxy brain box, you've got to throw all that hate towards the sequel trilogy. Sure, Ray Skywalker might have a super cool lightsaber, but you've got to suppress all that fan love. Repeat after me. The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker are my enemies. The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker are my enemies. The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker are my enemies. <sighs> I've cooled down now. And don't even get me started on Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams. Those guys really ruined it all. That's what I should say to fellow fans. You can use your force-like powers to manipulate others by creating a video of yourself crying to your most favourite scene. Or even better, pretend that you're completely new to the Star Wars franchise. Make a reaction video of you watching Star Wars for the very first time and pretend that you are in awe of these movies. Put that video online, grow a huge fan base full of more phonies, and you're already better than all those diehards out there. Whoa, Darth Vader's his father. I never saw that coming. Let me be 100% true with you all. I'm really a fake. I don't know what a darksaber is. Is it just a lightsaber? I don't know. I don't know. Is Baby Yoda really a baby? Why is Obi-Wan Kenobi called Old Ben? Does he have two names? I... These things just confuse me. Does Anakin Skywalker have a dad? Who's his father? I don't know. I don't know any of these things. But here's the best thing. You don't have to know either. Being a better Star Wars fan isn't about loving the movies or having a better knowledge of the franchise than anyone else. All you really have to do to become a better Star Wars fan is just take a massive, nasty dump. A dump of words all over the whole Skywalker saga. Minus the original trilogy. Them ones you don't take a dump on them ones. They are solid gold to the fan base. And don't forget to show your fake words of positivity online for shows like The Mandalorian the Clone Wars, and Rebels. No one really cares about your opinions and you shouldn't really care about anyone else's. But that's what social media was created for. You now have the correct tools to move forward and succeed and be a better Star Wars fan. Just like me. May the Force be with you.
you fake piece of shit.